What's going on guys? Dylan here from FabricationGuy.com and today we're going to break down what the best plasma cutter is to buy at all the different price points. So less than 300 bucks, less than 500 bucks, 750 bucks, 1000 bucks, 1500 and 2000. We're going to break down which are your best choices on the different brands and plasma cutters. I will have links to every single machine uh, that I am referencing in the video description so you guys can check that out and i'll also have some other helpful links that we've created that goes a little bit more in depth on some of these things but this video is going to be a buyer's guide quick and easy to try to just point you in the right direction of what you should get so let's get started straight out the gate we have the less than 300 dollars category if you're going to be spending less than 300 bucks on a machine you're going to want to get the prime weld 50 amp okay this is a machine that is labeled if you look here in the picture cut 50d the Cut 50Ds are very popular. There's a lot of different machines on Amazon that are basically this exact same machine. They're a machine that are made in China, and a lot of guys will slap their name on them. However, what sets the Prime Weld apart is that the Prime Weld actually has customer service that is based here in the U.S., and they're very responsive, very helpful. Another thing you have to look out for is the accessories and the torch that comes with the machine. So if you look on this machine, the torch is actually really nice. Some of them come with really janky, crappy torches. This one is actually a large, nice, sturdy torch. It has a large button handle, a large button on the handle that you can use with your welding gloves. It, it, it's really good, and they actually thought it out. So this is definitely the one you're going to want to get um, with these 50 amp cheaper machines you can expect to cut three quarter inch steel or i'll say severed three quarter inch steel you can cut half inch uh, pretty cleanly but without a doubt for less than 300 bucks the prime weld is going to be your best pick it has a three-year warranty and the guys over at prime weld are really cool and they'll help you out uh, just a fantastic value at less than 300 bucks. You can't go wrong. Now, less than 500 bucks. What machine do we recommend? Well, the Lotos LTP 5000D is another really great machine in this price range. Now, it's going to have the same power as the Prime Weld that we saw previously. But what you're what you're going to get for that extra 150 bucks, 200 bucks is the pilot arc feature so this machine does have pilot arc and that is really really nice that's a feature that you know i mean obviously if you don't have the money to spend on it uh, you can get away without it but if you're investing in a plasma cutter i highly recommend you get pilot arc it makes your life a whole lot easier it increases your consumable life it's very impressive we have a full demo video of this machine on my channel as well and we show it cutting quarter inch half inch uh, three quarter inch and it's really really impressive so i'll put the link to that in the video description as well if you guys want to see that and uh, this machine is also dual voltage so you can use it on 110 or 220 now if you use it on 110 you're going to lose some of that power but it is usable and you can use it in a variety of environments so if you're trying to look for a machine less than 500 bucks the ltp 5000d is a fantastic buy it's a great machine you know these machines are made in china but you're not going to find any u.s machine made in this price category so this is going to get you started for cheap and this really is a very powerful machine and you can see that in my demo video if you check it out so links will be down in the video description for the ltp 5000d as well now less than 750 bucks so prime weld has a machine called the cut 60 this is a 60 amp machine and they've done a lot of really cool things with this machine that i like and i like the prime weld brand because of like i said their support here in the u.s and their three-year warranty uh, the Cut 60 machine is a 60 amp machine, but what's really unique about it is that it's actually dual voltage as well. So no, there's not very many machines on the market that are 60 amp and dual voltage. So that's pretty rare. It gives you a large capacity, but you can also, you know, run it on 110 if you're doing a job that you're not near a correct power source, you can still use it. So that is really cool. The Cut 60 is a really cool machine. Another thing that really sets this machine apart from like the Lotos LTP 5000D that we saw in the previous slide is that this machine has an all-in-one Euro connection on the torch, which I think is really nice. It's a lot higher quality. If we go back to the Lotos LTP 5000D, as you can see, the pilot arc feature and uh, all the different plugs are separated. And the pilot arc is a really thin wire, and I'm not a huge fan of the way they did that. I mean, obviously, it's easily serviceable and repairable if it ever breaks, but I'm just not a huge fan of having to hook up all of those. I really like this style plug where it's just all in one. Uh, and then you have your, your ground cable here as well. But as you can see, very, very nice machine, and you're getting 60 amps. So you're getting 10 amps more of power. And that's going to equate to more cutting power, which is really cool. So if you are looking for a machine less than 750 bucks, this is a fantastic option, really good value. And we actually are going to have a demo video posted of this machine very soon. So be sure to check that out. It should be on the channel by the time you're watching this video. 
Now, the less than $1,000 category. Now, this is where it's kind of funny. There's actually not any machines better than this Prime Weld Cut 60 in the less than $1,000 category. You know, there's a couple different brands and stuff that have machines that are more expensive, but in my opinion, the Prime Weld is actually a better value and a better machine. So if you're looking for a machine less than 1000 bucks, well, you're in luck. You're not even gonna have to spend anywhere near that. The Prime Weld Cut 60 is gonna be the one that you want. Uh, that is definitely the mach best machine under a thousand bucks. So moving on to less than 1500. Now this is a little bit more than 1500, but it's within that range is the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 XP. Now this machine, even though it's only rated at 30 amps, actually cuts very similar to the 50 amp machines that we were taking a look at before. Um, but it's made by Hypertherm. They're very conservative on their numbers. So even though, uh, you know, they'll say, oh, this machine can cut, you know, half inch, it can cut three quarters of an inch. We have a video on my YouTube channel showing it cutting three quarters of an inch. Uh, very impressive machine. What you're going to get for your extra money compared to the other cheaper machines that we're looking at is quality. Hypertherm's built here in the US and they do a lot of quality control and testing. So you're gonna get a machine that is well thought out, very, very reliable and durable. Um, this is a machine that can really stand up to a professional environment. And as you can see, when you look at the torch and everything, it just looks a lot higher quality and that's because it is. There's also gonna be a large variety of torch consumables. Their customer service is top notch. And also if any parts or anything breaks on your machine, Hypertherm is really good about having those parts available so you can order them and fix the machine yourself instead of your machine basically just becoming a paperweight, which with some of these cheaper machines, that's sometimes oftentimes the case. So with the more expensive, you're getting better quality, you're getting better service, better parts availability, better torch consumables, you're getting a professional machine. And this machine is an absolute monster. It is very impressive in terms of performance. So uh, you guys can check out the demo video of that as well. But for 1500 bucks, this thing's also dual voltage. It is very, very impressive. There's definitely a quality difference. It's hard to quantify, uh, you know, even on video, it's hard to quantify, but when you're using it, you'll definitely notice a difference. So very, very impressive machine. Now on to less than $2,000. Now this pick that I did is, is $150 over that budget, but I really think it's worth the extra 150 bucks. The Hypertherm PowerMax 45 XP. This is an amazing machine. So many different features and consumables for flush cutting, gouging, all these different things. Really good support from Hypertherm. This is without a doubt, probably one of the most bought machines for professionals. You know, Hypertherm and Miller are both really, really good brands. I feel as, a, as though Hypertherm just has the edge on them because they really specialize in plasma cutters. Um, but this is the top of the line. You know, this is a really nice machine. Most guys aren't gonna need machines up in the 60, 70, 80 amp uh, ranges. So this 45 is, is the perfect flagship model for a major, I would say probably 99% of fabricators. Very impressive machine, super high quality. And uh, I recommend you read some of the reviews and some of the stuff that people have to say about this thing because it is an absolute monster, top notch. So that is my recommendation, guys. Every single machine from the lowest of the low to the highest of the high, there's a big price difference between all of these, but it really depends on what your application is. If you're a weekend warrior, you're an at-home guy, and you're looking for a machine for your shop that you'll be using every once in a while, getting one of these Chinese-made machines can be a really good investment and can be a really good value. You know, you're probably not going to put enough stress on that machine to wear it out, and you're going to have a really good machine that was cheap in price and has impressive performance. If you're a professional and you're using these machines every day or every week, then investing in a USA brand where you can buy consumables and parts and everything and have really good customer support because you need that machine to be running 24 seven. Spending the extra money and investing in a hypertherm uh, is just like investing in snap on tools or something like that. Yes, it's more expensive, but the tool works when you need it to work. And if you're making money with it, it's priceless, right? So if you guys have any questions about these machines or the different tiers of which one you should go with, feel free to post a question in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm always open to uh, help you guys out. Like I said, links to everything will be down in the video description. I just wanted to make an ultimate buyer's guide for every single price range and just give you guys the basics for anybody out there who's just looking to get a machine and not spend a ton of time doing tons of research. So I hope this helps you guys out. Y'all have a great day and enjoy your new machines. We'll catch you in the next video.